thin and flavorful wrappers filled with shredded vegetables. They are a hit with children and the recipe is super easy. First, saute minced garlic in a pan until fragrant. Then add shredded potatoes and carrots and stir fry until they become soft and release their aroma. Next, add shredded ham, salt, soy sauce, and oyster sauce and stir fry over high heat until everything is cooked through. Set aside the filling. For the wrappers, I use a special type of handmade pancake from Northeast China. Dot tea. They are completely natural and come in packs of 80. Simply steam the pancakes for six minutes in boiling water. The steamed pancakes turn out thin, soft, and chewy making them perfect for wrapping vegetables or roast duck. Place the cooked filling inside the pancakes and roll them up. You can eat them as is just like I do, or you can pan fry them until they turn golden brown on all sides. These pan fried spring rolls have a crispy outer shell and are incredibly delicious. I became popular recently. Some netizens made fun of me, saying that my family sells dumpling wrappers. But actually, I also sell wonton wrappers. I just want to cook with heart and make delicious dishes using ordinary ingredients. Today, I will share with you a recipe for lazy spring rolls using wonton wrappers. Prepare glass noodles, chives, scrambled eggs, inexpensive dried shrimp, and season with salt. Chicken bouillon oyster sauce for flavor. Sichuan peppercorn powder for texture. And sesame oil for fragrance. Ah, mix everything well with the chopsticks passed down from my ancestors. Wrap the egg mixture in the wonton wrappers, following six steps to wrap them nicely. I have updated over a hundred dishes on my homepage. If there's a dish that you want to learn, please use your magical hands to like, follow, comment, and share. Thank you for your support. After everything is done, preheat the electric griddle, brush a thin layer of oil, put in the pancake dough, and fry until golden and crispy on all sides. It's so fragrant and delicious that your friends will love it. I'll show you how to make a mouth-watering and crispy leaf spring roll that is a thousand times more delicious than this leek dumpling. Forget about adding all the seeds on May 25th. Where's the crispiness in the leek? Let's start by cutting the leek into sections and adding just the right amount of oil to prevent it from getting soggy. Then, we'll mix in some scrambled eggs and dried shrimp, followed by a spoonful of chicken essence, half a spoonful of salt, and a touch of oyster sauce. A quick stir with chopsticks will evenly distribute the flavors. While you keep an eye on it, we'll skip the oily cutting board and instead brush some oil on the dumpling wrapper. Place another wrapper on top and repeat this four or five times. Once that's done, we'll roll it out nice and thin with a rolling pin and steam it for about five to six minutes. Now look, when it's finished, it'll come out of the steamer looking crystal clear and shiny. Transfer it to a cutting board, add the prepared filling and roll it up tight. Fold the sides and continue rolling until you have several of them. Heat up some oil in a pan and fry the rolls until they turn golden brown and become delightfully crispy. Almost there, these translucent and crispy little spring rolls are ready. Dip them in a bit of vinegar and enjoy. That's all there is to it. Some Meiju fans express their interest in learning Minin cuisine. All right, today I'll show you how to make a popular Minin dish called Fine Spice Roll. To make this dish, we'll need front leg pork, water chestnut, onion, sweet potato flour, green onion, and freshwater fish. First, we'll lightly grill the dry bean curd skin after cutting it into five pieces. Don't worry, wrapping the five spice roll is not as challenging as it seems. Next, we'll mix the front leg pork, water chestnut, onion, green onion, freshwater fish, spice powder, and sweet potato flour. To enhance the flavors, we'll add salt, sugar, and monosodium glutamate. Once the mixture is well combined, we'll use it to fill the roll. Oh, by the way, we've also prepared five boxes of balls. Now, let's fry the five spice rolls at 100.